Unleash the power of progressive assimilation in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an exciting topic, progressive assimilation. This is a critical part of understanding how native English speakers naturally communicate, and mastering it will dramatically improve your English fluency and comprehension. Let's get started. Progressive assimilation is a part of connected speech, where one sound influences the sounds that follow it. This is a natural process that happens in many languages, and it's all about making speech smoother and easier to produce. In English, we often change sounds depending on the sounds that come after them, and this is called progressive assimilation. Imagine you're saying the phrase, good day. Instead of pronouncing each word separately, English speakers will usually blend the two words together. The D in good will influence the D in day, making it sound more like good day. This is a simple example of progressive assimilation. Let's look at more examples. Say the phrase 10 boys. Here, the N at the end of 10 is a nasal sound and it influences the B in boys, making it sound more like 10 boys. Another example could be the phrase, I have to go. In quick, connected speech, this phrase might sound more like, I have to go, with the V in have being influenced by the T in to, and therefore becoming more like an F sound. This happens because it's easier to pronounce it this way in fluent speech. Remember, these changes are often subtle and happen naturally in conversation. The important thing is not to forcefully change your pronunciation but to understand how these changes occur in natural, fluent speech. The first step in mastering progressive assimilation is awareness. Now that you know what it is and have some examples, start listening for it in everyday conversations, movies, and music. Next, practice, practice, practice. As the old saying goes, practice makes perfect. Try to include examples of progressive assimilation in your own speech when you practice speaking English. But remember, it's not about changing every word. It's about getting the overall flow and rhythm of English speech. And there you have it, folks. That's progressive assimilation in a nutshell. This concept might seem tricky at first, but with time, awareness, and practice, you will get the hang of it. It will significantly boost your understanding and fluency in English, making your speech sound more natural and native-like. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you found this lesson helpful. Remember, language learning is a journey, so enjoy the process. Until next time, happy learning!